Sperling. I am the director of the dance company here at Keenan, Keenan Dance Company, and we welcome you to our spring concert 2022. Of course, we went without a spring concert for the last two years, so we're excited that we're able to return to that tradition. Tonight's performance is called The Art of Dance, and the reason for the title is because the dances are all based upon visual artworks. Also, the choreography is all done by students. And in this project, they were asked to identify an artist um, or a particular work of art that really drew them in and gave them ideas for a dance work and to start generating ideas and, and creating that. Now, they took different approaches. Some decided that they wanted to actually try to reproduce the look of the painting on the stage in 3D. Others didn't take quite that kind of approach. Instead, they thought about what kind of feelings the painting evoked for them and went with that theme. So it's a little bit different for each dance. The first dance you're going to see is called Parallel Realities. And this is choreographed by Julia Knapper. And this is her senior um, mastery or exhibition of mastery project for her honors dance class. So it's her final, final project. And she chose this work by M.C. Escher. It's a lithograph, which is a form of printmaking. And it depicts a strange kind of a world, a world where gravity seems to no longer exist because you have steps upside down and sideways, every which way. It reminds me a little of Hogwarts, if you're a Harry Potter fan. And um, in this picture, the figures are just kind of going about their own world, unaware that the laws of gravity don't exist, and also unaware of one another. Escher also created the figures with no facial features, and so they have an almost robotic appearance. So in this dance, Julia is exploring that uh, idea of the robotic appearance and the stairs, and anyway, I think she's done a terrific job with it. So I hope you enjoy the first dance, Parallel Realities.
Yeah, let's, let's get some of that shit. <laughs> okay. Our next dance is called Summer Serenity, and it's by Micaiah Mason, who also is satisfying her exhibition of mastery requirement for honors dance. She selected this work called Waterfall Print. Unfortunately, the artist is unknown. We searched and searched and couldn't find um, it identified. But Micaiah chose this work because of the sense of peace created by this beautiful, natural environment. For Micaiah, it evokes fond memories of summertime, and days spent enjoying the outdoors. When I met you in the summer to my heartbeat sound We fell in love As the leaves turned brown And we could be together, baby As long as skies are blue You act so innocent now But you lied so soon When I met you in the summer
next dance is called Mothers and Daughters, and it's a collaborative choreographic project by my Dance One class. Um, again, I tasked the students with researching artists and finding, uh, each of them had to find an artwork that they felt would make a good dance. And then they presented to the class to um, sort of share their idea for it. And then the students voted to decide which ones to choose to make dances. And this work was selected by Felicity Samuel, and it's Mother Playing with Child by Mary Cassatt. She's an American artist, was an American artist who painted in the Impressionist style and did also display her work in France with other Impressionist artists. But the depiction of the mother and child led us into a class discussion about mothers and daughters. And from there we found a wonderful poem, Mother, a Cradle to Hold Me by Maya Angelou. And the dancers created dance vignettes based on Angelou's words and then recorded their recitations of the poem against music by George Winston. So, mothers and daughters. steadily and drew us apart. I was unwilling. I feared if I let you go, you would leave me eternally. You smiled at my fears, saying I could not stay in your lap forever. That one day, you would have to stand, and where would I be? You smiled again. I did not. returned immediately. You left again and returned, I admit quickly, but relief did not rest with me easily. You left again, but again returned. You left again, but again returned. Each time you re-entered my world, you brought assurance. Slowly, I gained confidence. We 
thought you know me. But I did know you. You thought you were watching me. But I did hold you securely in my sight. Recording every moment. Memorizing your smiles. Tracing your frowns. In your absence, I replaced you. The way you had me singing on a breeze while I saw a lay at the root of your song. The way you close your head so the light can caress your face. And you put your hands on my hand and your hands on my arm. I was blessed with a sense of health, of strength, and of very good fortune. You were always the heart of my happiness to me, with your new gifts of glee, sweets of open laughter. slow to understand. I grew older and was stunned to find how much knowledge you had grown, and so quickly. That's uh, a wonderful dance considering Mother's Day is coming up soon. So to all you mothers out there, I thank you. The next dance is called Out of the Shadows. It's by Rayanna Chisholm, another senior who is satisfying her honors course requirement. And I'd like to take a moment to mention at this point that as of yesterday's track meet, Rayanna um, became number five in the state in women's track. So mm -hmm. it's pretty special. The painting she chose is called Self-Portrait Two by Roy Nakum. He's an artist who creates painting, uh, paintings that is accessible to the visually impaired. So if, when you see his work very close up, it reveals that braille writing is incorporated into the painting. 
But Rihanna was drawn to the work because of the darkness and the hands that seemed to be grasping for something beyond reach. For Rihanna, the image evoked thoughts of women who've been abused and silenced and whose lack of power has forced them to live within metaphorical shadows. In her dance, Rihanna explores this dark world and how inner strength can enable a woman to speak out and to walk into the light. next dance is called Watercolor, and it's a collaboration of the Dance 2 class based on a concept by Shamaya Ko. Um, each dancer in the class selected an artwork and presented her idea for a dance based on it. And this particular work by, that Shamaya had chosen was hands down the class favorite. It's entitled Abstract Dance 1 by Somali Gangane. Shamaya loved the colorful flowing shapes which we've attempted to create on stage. To generate movement material, I asked each dancer to create a brief solo that was inspired by the painting, incorporated an entrance and an exit, and moved in a pathway shaped like the first letter of their first name. Later in the dance, the solos are repeated, but this time in one spot instead of traveling through space. The intention is to present the painting as if it has come to life on stage.
next dance is Stages by Senior Jaleesa Eady. She came across this series of drawings by South Korean artist Dai Hoon Kim, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, which for her evoked the concept of the five stages of grief. In this dance, she explores each of the stages, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance and reflects visual imagery from the drawings. This dance is a little different in the sense that it um, contains five distinct sections and each section will be preceded by the particular drawing that is connected to that stage of grief. I can't seem to drown you out long enough I feel tuned to the sound of your love You're like a song that I ain't ready to stop 
타고 있는 지워 놓은 I'm not ready to be just another of your mistakes Don't wanna let the pieces fall out of place I was only just a breath removed from going to waste Till I found salvation in the form of your grace Your grace Your grace Your grace Don't take it away Your grace Your grace Your grace Don't take it away When I'm coming home, mama, my own Quiet when I'm coming home, mama, my own Quiet when I'm coming home
And when I'm just about to pass the podium it's kind of hard not to get teary um, during that last dance Um, this next dance is called flying falling and this is another collaboration by the dance one class it's based on a work called people begin to fly by french artist eve klein it's a 1961 work and it was inspired by an instant incident in which he was on a beach and he imagined himself levitating staring at the sky and singing his name before falling back to earth. This dance explores the concepts of flying and falling while also reflecting the artist's use of the color blue.
introduce the next dance. But before, I'd like to um, ask you all or remind you that following this dance, we'll have a brief honor society induction ceremony and a presentation of awards, after which we will pr um, present one final and very special dance. It's not even on the program. It's a surprise. So please stay for those. Um, this dance is called Ladies' Night Out by Kalia Priester, another satisfaction of her honors uh, course requirements. It's based on the painting called The Sugar Shack by Ernie Barnes. Now, if you, uh, many of you are too young, but um, if you're as old as I am, you might have been a fan of the TV show Good Times or of the great Marvin Gaye. Well, if so, you've seen this painting before. It hung in the Evans apartment in Good Times, and it graced uh, one of Marvin Gaye's album covers. And it's a very famous painting. Um, so many people have seen it. It's almost like in, in dance the equivalent of the Nutcracker. It's uh, just so well-known and so well-liked. It depicts a group of people dancing to a band at a local spot. Now, in the day, these gathering places were often called juke joints, the word juke being derived from an African word for dance. In this work, Kalia creates the idea of a 1930s era juke joint and a group of ladies who are out for a fun night of dancing after a hard day's work. Now, this is a tremendously popular work of art, as I said, so um, if you love it, prints of it are widely available on the internet. But if you want to see the original painting, you'll have to visit Eddie Murphy, who owns and displays it in his Beverly Park, California home. So enjoy Ladies' Night Out. I done had a long day working at the diner. I'm sorry to have a good time. I hear you on that. I've been tussling with these trainer moms all day. They need a sitting. Ooh, it sounds like we all need to let loose tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go dance it out, ladies. Do it always feel so good in here? Let me get fresh dibs on the phone. Go ahead, Macy. Just make sure you play the one we show out to. Of course she is, Tanya. She never fails to play that record. Y'all know me so well. Hey ladies, that was great. I figured you could use some cold drinks. Thanks, sugar. Hey ladies, it's been a while since we last met. Girl, you ain't lying on that one. So what y'all been up to in here? We just got done juking. Y'all missed it. Tanya, you know we gotta do our dance before we leave. We sure do. Yes, we got to show them what we do best. Ooh, I know what she about to play. She about to have this club jumping like jacks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nasia, hit it. You ain't got to tell me twice.
dancers put away scenery and help me by bringing out um, a special table we're going to go on and do our National Honor Society for Dance Arts induction ceremony and our annual dance awards presentations a little about the National Honor Society eligibility for induction in the Honor Society is based on three criteria first the student must earn 30 participation points while enrolled in high school um, these points are given for participation in the dance program, that I should say meritorious pr uh, participation, uh, participation in performances and so on. Um, they also get points for choreography and other projects. The second criterion is that the student must earn and maintain a GPA of at least 3.2 in the dance program. Finally, the student must meet a character requirement based on his or her demonstration of collaborative teamwork, motivation, and leadership. The students who are being inducted today have met all of those requirements. For induction, they will receive a certificate from the National Honor Society for Dance Arts, and graduating seniors will be awarded a cord to wear in their graduation ceremony. Our junior and um, sophomore inductees will be awarded the honor cord in their senior year, provided they remain members in good standing of the Keenan Dance Program. Three of our inductees tonight will receive a special graduation with honors designation, which means that in their senior year, they have earned 15 or more points beyond the required 30 for initial induction. At this time, I'm gonna call Jalea Knapper and Rayana Chisholm out to assist me with the induction ceremony. They were inducted last year as juniors. Jalea and Rayana, don't leave me hanging. Okay, anyway, they were inducted last year um, in their junior year. They will be awarded their cords today, but they're going to assist me in giving the certificates and so on. So our first inductee this year is a sophomore, and it is Markeja Alford. Okay, give her, give her you, you give her her certificate. Mm -hmm. The next is Junior Treasure Riley. <laughs> next is, she said, thanks, Sugar. Um, the next is Junior Micaiah Mason. Okay. And now we have two new inductees who are seniors, so they will receive the cord for graduation. First is Tanasia Osbia. Take the cord and put it on her neck. Uh, give her that and the cord. Mm -hmm. And put the cord on around her neck. Yes, there you go. Bling bling for that graduation day. And then Kalia Priester is also a new inductee and will be given a certificate. I'll do those. I'll do those. I'll do those. Okay. Put her cord on. Earn that cord. Okay. All right. And the final three 
have again won the designation of um, graduation with honors. First of those is both an initial induction and graduation with honors is Jalisa Eady. They are, um, oh, I'm sorry, here's your certificate. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, they get a medal for being an honor graduate. And we also have Rihanna Chisholm. Congratulations. And none other than Jalea Knapper. Now we're going to move to the awards, the dance awards section. And um, I've started a new tradition this year, and that is giving a trophy to my graduating seniors, and it's based on number of years in the program. So I'm gonna begin with an awardee who has been with our program, the Gifted Talent Dance Program for two years, okay? And that is Kalia Priester. Congratulations. Then I have three-year awardees, and they are Rayana Chisholm and Christina Davis. Christina needs to come up here. Mm -hmm. Christina, please join us. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. All right, and then we have our Seniors who have been in the dance program at Keenan for all four years. We have Jalisa Eady. <laughs> That's dead, they have put up with me for four years, so that is a real dedication. Jalea Knapper. And Tanasia Osbia. Okay, thank you. Okay, and now for dance department awards. Let me get these out. I had to hide these in a bag because they were all going to want to peek. All right. So the dance awards are given. I mean, I think all my students are winners. They're all wonderful. They're, yes, go ahead and clap. They are. And uh, make me so proud. And so, but, you know, so it's really hard to pick awards. So I have to look at a lot of criteria. But I have something called an Outstanding Dancer Award that's awarded to a student in each grade level. And this award is given to a student for consistently demonstrating the highest levels of dedication and professionalism in dance. Um, for the Freshman Award, this student comes in dance every day with a smile on her face. And she's enthusiastic and gives her all every minute that she's dancing. That is Messiah Sujic. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. For my sophomore award, I had a tie, and I tried every way I could think of to break it up and, and just figure out who was going to edge the other out. I looked at grade point averages, but they both have a 100 grade point average in dance, and it was really hard, so I finally decided I'll just do two. So the first is sophomore Markeja Alford. Okay. Congratulations. And Felicity Samuel. Okay. okay, congratulations. Then my junior award this year goes to Micaiah Mason. Okay. Thank you. And again, with my seniors, um, I had such a rock star class this year with seniors and juniors, and again, uh, they're all deserving of awards, but so, so I really had to narrow it down. But for Outstanding Dancer Awards senior year, um, the recipients are Kalia Priester, And someone who has just grown so much this year and really just um, has been, frankly, amazing, Tanasia Osbia. Yeah. <laughs> she was genuinely surprised, I think. We have one more award, and this is the dance department's highest award, 
It's called the Dance Leadership Award. And I know everybody right now is already thinking they know who it is. But um, not only does this person consistently demonstrate the highest levels of dedication and professionalism in dance, but she exceeds expectations by taking on leadership roles in areas such as choreography, mentorship, scholarly endeavors, and or service projects. I'd also like to announce at this time that this recipient today just learned that she has won the South Carolina Department of Education's Archibald Rutledge Scholarship that she will be able to use at Winthrop University where she will be pursuing a degree in dance education and that is Jalea Sylvia Nepper. <laughs> All right. And that concludes our award ceremony. That's not too, too painful, I hope. Um, I'm going to ask the dancers to put away their bling bling and help clear the table. And I will introduce our final very special dance. Julia is going to join me for that. Okay. You're going to join me? Yes? Okay. Well, we're going to clear the table, and you're going to join me to introduce the final dance. Um, as most of you probably already know, maybe all of you, um, this is my final year teaching. I am retiring at the end of this school year, and um, it's very bittersweet, um, probably more bitter than sweet. I, I love my work, and um, I think my body needs a, a rest, but um, certainly in spirit, I will continue to be here and hopefully stay in touch with all of my wonderful students. But um, after I announced my retirement, Julia Knapper came up to me and said, well, Ms. Cook, this is your final performance at Keenan. You need to dance in it. And I said, oh, no, uh -uh, forget that. No, 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 no. I don't dance anymore. This is, you know, these shows are for you all to shine, and, and I just let me stay in the background. And, well, if you know Julia at all, if you look up the word persistent in the dictionary, you'll see the name Julia Knapper instead of a definition. Um, she does not let go of something. She's a little bit like a pit bull when she hits on an idea she thinks is important, and she would not let it go. And she then in, in, um, engaged all the other students in the campaign, and they started bugging me about it too, and, well, finally I just found my nose turning to a yes. Um, <laughs> so, um, Julia can make me do just about anything, and she's going to say a few words to introduce this last dance, and then we'll take our places. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> Hello everyone. I just want to start off by thanking you all for coming and staying with us for so long. My freshman year was also Mrs. Cook's first year teaching at Keenan. And that same year, Mrs. Cook had to dance in SpongeBob because one of the dancers didn't show up. Now I'm a senior and I'm leaving and she's leaving as well. And me along with the fellow seniors and the dancers wanted Ms. Cook to do one last dance before she retires. I may not have gotten to have her long, but the four years I did, I learned so much. And I say this for all of the Keenan Dance Company, the arts department, and all the lives you touch as a whole. We love you, Cook a Booker. Enjoy the show. Something to remember 